Hey guys, and welcome to Motion Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing the Toreador class in detail with your abilities and how to play them effectively in Blood Hunt. If you find the video useful, please give it a like, and don't forget to check out my Bruja and Nosferatu guides too. Also, please consider subscribing. I will be covering the Ventru clan in detail shortly after Season 1 launch, but make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss it. The Toreador clan are much more classy than the previous two that I have covered, and are generally seen as artists in everything they do. This carries over to general gameplay in Blood Hunt, but I'll go into more detail near the end of the video. Jumping straight into the shared Torador movement ability, Projection Dash, which allows you to throw an image of yourself out in front of you and teleport to the image up to 10 seconds later. The cooldown for the ability is 22 seconds, but this only starts counting after you have used the teleport, once the projection timer runs out, or if you stray too far away from the projection. The maximum range you can move away from your projection is 20 meters horizontally, and there is no vertical limit. The dash can be used to gain some forward momentum for rooftop traversal, or for rapidly changing direction, both horizontally and vertically. I especially like using this to return to a rooftop I recently descended from, and is the quickest way to do so in the game currently. Moving on to Siren and his passive ability Kindred Charm, which puts an effect on nearby mortals leaving them blind to any feeding or diablerizing they may have seen previously. The effect must be placed on the observer for this to work. The effect also makes mortals quicker to feed on for both you and your team, which is a nice addition to speed up the process. Siren's other ability is Blinding Beauty, where he slowly erupts into a beauty, blinding and damaging all nearby enemies. This is basically a chargeable flashbang with a radius of 10 meters, dealing 20 damage and slowing the movement speed of effective enemies by 15%. The trick with this ability is to have some kind of cover for the charge up period so you don't get shot too much while you are vulnerable. You are unable to shoot or run during the animation, but you can teleport if you have previously thrown out a projection. This is a great way to surprise an enemy with an immediate flash, however more skilled players will expect this move, and you may end up wasting both of your abilities at once, so make sure you have a plan B. Muse is the Avatorador archetype, and her main ability, Rejuvenating Voice, is a healing effect for you and your allies. Using it will trigger an instant 40 hit point heal and then 10 hit points per second, until you stop using it. The burst heal of 40 is the fastest healing you can get in the game. There is no limit to how long you are able to heal for, however if you take any damage or attempt to perform a different action like swapping weapons, the healing will stop. Once the healing is over you will need to wait 18 seconds for the cooldown. During the healing animation, a sound will play and an 8 meter heal radius will be visible to everyone including enemies, so be aware that you will be easy to pinpoint if you are hidden from the action. Her passive ability Final Act is possibly one of the strongest in the game. It will instantly refresh your ability cooldowns when you are downed, and allows you to use them in a downed state. No other archetype in the game currently can use their abilities while downed, and this means that Muse can be an amazing escape artist, or clutch heal mid-fight. This ability works best in team play, but being able to potentially escape or hide from someone coming to finish you off is a major advantage not to mention a second burst of 40 hit points heal for your nearby teammates. The Torador clan are aimed more at support roles, adding an extra spice to combat rather than the main upfront fighters. Their abilities give you a chance to show off your skills in combat, and I found that playing with cover was more effective with Siren and Muse than other clans. Using the pump action shotgun was great fun, and made the battle almost feel like some sort of dance with death, turning it into a performance of your skill and style in combat, more than a quick brawl. To get a good idea of how to play, I figured that if they dressed up nice for combat, you wouldn't want to get any bloodstains on your fancy clothes. Try to play without taking any damage, and strike when the moment is perfect. After all, the others will be judging your performance. If you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe with notifications on for my upcoming melee only challenge, and more in-depth blood hunt content.